Hi, I'm Flight Lieutenant Thomas. I'm reenacting Second World War Royal Australian Air Force bomber pilot of a Halifax that we've got up here. So we're just going to run through some kit quickly. I'm wearing the flying kit of a pilot from the Second World War. My observer type parachute harness, my parachute pack, a May West life jacket, G type oxygen mask, C type helmet, and flying goggles over the back there. I've got 1940 pattern flying boots on, which are sheepskin lined to the toes to keep my feet warm whilst we're flying at altitude. Um, we're going to quickly run through the rest of my crew. This chap here is the bombardier. His job is to guide the bombs onto target over the target that we're flying, the mission that we're doing. So he's got much the same kit as me, doesn't really need any extra kit for the mission as all the equipment that he uses is actually part of the aircraft. So the next chap we've got here is the navigator. He basically guides the aircraft to the target. So without him, he, well, he's an integral part of the, air, of the crew. Much the same kit again, apart from the fact he's got his navigating equipment with him. So he's got a chart board, map, uh, bubble sextant, everything good like that. Next chap we've got is a flight engineer. He looks after the well-being of the aircraft whilst we're in the air. So he's got his own tools with him, separate tool bag. And in the case of an emergency, he could actually fly the aircraft back to camp if needed. And he's there to do any re repairs as and when we need them. Next chap we've got, Canadian Air Force air gunner. So he's the mid upper gunner. So he's in the top turret. His job is basically to protect us from enemy aircraft. Um, well, hopefully he does it well. But he's got, yet again, the same flying kit on as I have, but as I mentioned earlier, the Mark 7 goggles, which you couldn't see on me. Um, he has also got a parachute pack, but it's in his parachute bag, which he carries separately. Next chap we've got is the radio operator, or signaller. He um, communicates with other aircraft in the air, or back to base, and lets us know if any changes in the mission, and stuff like that. So, yet again, his main radio equipment is part of the aircraft, but he has got with him what's called a Gibson Girl distress radio. So in the event we were shot down over the channel, this would be our lifesaver basically. There's an aerial in the front which you attach to a kite, fly up about 30, 35 feet, and he cranks a handle on top which would then send out a distress signal to us, for us, so hopefully we'll get picked up and somebody will get us back. The next chap we got is a, a French air gunner. He's our rear air gunner or tail end Charlie. Um, the life expectancy of a rear gunner was very very small so it's quite a daunting position to be in an any, any bomber aircraft but um, yet again much the same flying equipment as all of us. He would normally have a flying suit on as well because it can get rather cold sitting in the back turret. Hello I'm Pierre. Um, I'm French. I'm living in uh, England for a few years now. I uh, will present my uniform of uh, Free French uh, Air Force. Uh, so the Free French Air Force uh, want to try to keep some uh, French, uh, French uniforms and mix with uh, British. So they, they try to keep the same color of the French uh, uniform during the First World War and interwar. Um, it's actually a uh, civil defense uh, color and they match. So uh, all the French, nearly all the French, uh, free French are using the civil defense uh, battle dress set. Um, apart of that, uh, all of the rest is, um, is British gear, observator harness, boots, flying boots, gloves, uh, flying emlets, uh, type E mask. Um, the cap is a, is a French one, um, it's the same one since uh, the interwar uh, up to the 50s as well. Um, the free French don't wear a blue, blue shirt, uh, they wear a white one as a, it's a traditional uh, for the free French, um, for the French in the Air Force, sorry. Um, we are we are in Helvington, so it's quite important for, for me to reenact uh, the Free French. 
it's one of the airfield where you have two, two squadron of uh, free French and you can see the free French sign on the Halifax and that is my uniform.